This is Jara by NMTV Zulu of Hamiti Hebrew Ethics. Transform your life into a star. The flesh, bones, and blood are earthly. The soul is destined for the stars. Where is the proof? In Kanyezi, Naleli, Nyerezi, Irao, Inkwenkwezi, Nyota. Proof that your soul's journey is finally to the stars after death comes from what was taught by our ancestors. Our destiny is for a different you, not what has been taught. The soul is inside and around the to the body. So the bar or the car is a and there are nine aspects of the soul, which we call moya, omrea. And then two is the black or melanin, flesh, black, blood, and bones. Bantus know the truth, but now they follow Johnny Kemlate uh, deceptions. This is proof that our ancient uh, belief systems in Africa predates Hinduism, Judaism, Zoroasterism, Fushinism, and Taoism by hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years. Because pre-animistic belief systems go way beyond two million years. Because human beings, Bantu and Melanin, human beings have been on the earth for over five billion years. So if you are not following the original and ancient belief system, and you're following any of these, that are less than 5,000 or 4,000 years ago, imagine you are throwing away 2.5 million years of knowledge and grabbing something that came <laughs> yesterday. Since Bantu uh, religions and spirituality are millions of years older than all modern popular religions, it follows that they are much closer to the creation event than Christianity, Judaism, Islam, which are man-made and human-made belief systems. Our animistic belief system reverence the ancestors because they are carrying that information from ancient Hoari times, from the original created an ancestor to us today and it's practiced today in Africa, in New Guinea, in Amazon, and oldest uh, religion on earth is that belief which says natural life has an animating spirit inside it's called animism but there's pre-animistic belief system that connects us with the original ancestor therefore because we follow this ancient religion we know that the soul is immortal and that the soul is older than your ancestry or the first ancestor flesh bones and blood your physical body are earthy, meta, and only for the third dimension. The soul is destined for the stars. Where is the proof? Our ancestors supplied all the knowledge. Let us crest the surface now so that we can know. One of our greatest ancestors, Dr. Credo Mutua, according to the migration of the soul theory, he teaches us that the soul goes through a series of developmental stages long before and after their associations with human bodies. In his work in Daba, My Children, he informs us of the seven stages of the development of the soul, which involves the grass phase, tree phase, beast phase, human phase, reptile phase, bird phase, and then the last one, which we should all aim for, is the star phase, which actually is our destiny. Not all of these, but you are likely to come back in cycles until you finish the stages in many, many of uh, these. In the book, the awesome book, Ahuja, by uh, Asari Motep, we learn more 
on this. Let us look at this because it summarizes a lot of uh, facts that our books have uh, demonstrated. From his book, uh, the first example comes from the text Death and the Invisible Powers, The World of Congo Belief, 1993, by Simon Boggy, who is a Euro Gentile scholar. We are informed that Mahungu, the first man, was a complete being. Capture this. A duplicate of God. Now we want to employ a paradigm here that you have to use every time you read God. You are likely reading about the divinities. So that's why we call them God. Whether it's capitalized or small letters. So this God spoken of here is not the creator. The actual creator in Bantu Shishona is Musiki. But there is Musikabanu. He is the one who created Mahungu. Containing both genders, this is Mahungu, who was created by Musikabanu. And possessing a knowledge of God's secret. So Mahungu possesses the knowledge of Musikabanu. Not Musiki. Musiki is beyond flesh. Musiki is beyond matter. is beyond spirit. Because Mahungu proved to be irresponsible, Muskabanu withdrew and allowed human beings to suffer without his constant attention and care. So, this is exactly what happened. And it mimics even what the creator, the one we never talk about much, exactly. But taking pity on them, he brought them death. So what is this death for? Who dies here? Is the flesh, bones, and blood. So, the purpose of the soul when it was in the flesh of bones, blood, and the body was to make the physical immortal. But because of free will, it was removed because man failed. And therefore, the soul's purpose now on earth is just to experience matter. And after a number of cycles, the seven we have been shown by Baba Kredo Mutua, they move out of this physical cycle. To the highest physical cycle ever. It's being proved here beyond reasonable doubt. Now, but taking pity on them, we know now, so so they could uh, return and through desire and effort gradually become like God again. So we should become like the divinities. Those who have reached that status are in effect the new Mahungu. They are complete or grown up human beings. They have become little gods, the stars. The term ancestor is reserved solely for this class of beings. Not everyone who has gone before can be called an ancestor. We are going to prove that shortly because some are going back to the cycles that Baba Kredo Mutua has demonstrated. So you might think you are worshiping an ancestor or you are calling an ancestor, but the ancestor is a grass now. He's experiencing, he has failed in the life that he was living on the earth. And ultimately, when ancestors lose their earthly existence completely, when no living being is able to remember them, and when their personality is no longer in, incarnated in newcomers, they are called nkunku nyungu light they have gone to the stars among the mitsogo of southern carbon the living human being moma is said to comprise the following basic components oto untu ntu chunu muwiri the body a janga which is the vital force located in the heart motema gedidi the spirit and the ked Dinatina, the shadow or seahood, vuri. When the body no longer has the life force, dies, the Gedinadina shadow disappears. This is the one that is captured by the witches and they use it very profitably. Apparently, this is also one of those that can rise up on the day of your burial and stand up and refuse to be to let the body go. And the spirit Gedidi flies off towards the other world, most often on sun rays. Same as the stars. Let's continue with this. The goal, it is the goal of human beings to reach the last phase and they become an immortal star. We see the same ontological process among the ancient Hamites. We see mainly this thought process play among the kings of Hamid 
and a number of examples can be found in the pyramid coffin text as well as Partema Hore. For example, it is abundantly clear that the deceased kings became stars in ancient Hamitic texts. So these are the texts spoken of and you can get this book explains that. So Partema Hore, also pyramid text, the king is a star. The king is a star which illuminates the sky. The king is a star brilliant and far traveling. The king appears as a star. Lo, the king arises as this star which is on the underside of the sky. So it must go beyond to become more abstract. As articulated by Baba Mutwa, the ancient Hamites also agree that it is the soul that becomes the star. So the king becomes a living star. I am a soul. I am a star of gold. It's a it's uh, uh, pyramid text. Oh, king. You are this great star, the companion of Orion, who traverses the sky with Orion, who navigates the Duat with Ausarije. The Duat is the Earth. So still coming back to experience uh, the Earth. We continue. The Old Kingdom text from the 6th dynastic period talks about a deceased King Papi who, in order to enter the world beyond, had to undergo ceremonial cleansing. And the rituals with water purification, the goal of these purification rituals was resurrection. Not the resurrection of the flesh, bones, and blood, but the resurrection in our ways, the ability to transcend, to come back again into the duat or into the body. You will never ever fed if you resurrect. We can see further evidence of this association with the stars after death in Parutema Ore and the words of coming forth by day, chapter 176, when Annie states, I abhor the eastern land. I will not enter the place of destruction, which is the earth. None shall bring me offerings of what the gods detest in the earth. Because I was pure in the midst of the Milky Way. So he is saying, I've done it. I'm here. I'm a star now. I can't go back and live again in the earth. Or incarnate in the earth in flesh and bones. Say, one to whom the Lord of all granted his power on that day when the two lands were united in the presence of the Lord of things. So these are the laws that were set prior to all creation on the souls and their purpose and their goal. They lived among us the stars. As we can see here, when Annie says, I pass pure into the midst of the Milky Way, he's talking about a region of stars for which it is believed a great number of ancestors resided. It's much more clear. It goes on to say uh, in uh, chapter 70, 174, he is a bit more explicitly in association with the stars. He states, I will raise up a tema, a tomb. For my words are great. I have issued from between the thighs of the Enid. I was conceived by Sekhmet. It was Sekhmet who bore me a star brilliant and far traveling. So there is no, there is no way to escape uh, this explanation. As we have seen from this book, Aeluja, we now look at a, the principle of ancestors. Further confirmation that the spirits of Shibanu refer to beings of old can be seen in John S. Mbiti's African religions. And philosophy 1990 where he states now follow me and listen to this very very interestingly ancestors are usually venerated for four to five generations which means about uh, 300 to 200 years these are the ancestors we are concerned with after which they are believed to withdraw further from the living their soul their flesh bones and blood are here but their soul is gone. It's going. When the last person who knew the deceased dies, the deceased spirit is released from its personal name, the secret name we spoke of, and the human personality, demo or laws or spirit or the memories among us, the living of that ancestor, and it becomes part of a collective immortal spirit. So it's gone. These spirits vanish from human contact. And they can only be pondered in the abstract. That's very, very, very deep and interesting. But for many, it's quite clear. For the Asian Hamites, the spirits were Haku. Researchers such as Obenga and Oduroe have equated Chikam with the following African words. These are Amandlos, 
mizimu not mashavi ebira eku idoma eku the living dead efik ekpe igala ekwe ibo egugu masquerad yoruba heku egungun robs yoruba aiku immortal kalenjini aiki o oivik ancestral spirit escaping this dom the dogon star may revisited it was never serious the dogon obsessed in celebrating knowledge of star visitor ancestors they used orion's belt to find the star that milky way we spoke of exactly like what we have seen all here destined to escape how do you define your life purpose if you define it as a christian as a jew as a muslim as an atheist as a millionaire as a star as a footballer as a driver as a husband or anything but it's all about your soul stage or soul level bantu make sure you live a life full of ubuntu maati to guarantee you to escape from the cycle and reincarnation cycle totems are cosmic too here is the prayer to konsu lord konsu whose face is the moon shining bright among the blessed stars it is you who i call upon it is you i offer my praise so you see he's speaking to a divinity speaking to a god not an ancestor he's praying to a divinity capture that left eye of heru divinity decider of life's length child of the sky i adore your beauty you who brings forth the blood yes creator it's clear that's what we said mahungu you whose rage is known yes when they left and said no let them do their own thing i ask for your protection and ask that you guide me safely through the night go in peace lord konsu and may your light last forever there it is very very clear and open since all of the life giving forces are in nature a be natural it natural avoid gmos the soul is inside and around the body to experience the natural world not man made matrix Spell 474 of the pyramid text states the ark belongs to heaven the corpse to the earth third dimension and it was the ark which would enjoy eternity among the stars with the gods that's where we will meet all revered ancestors happily jesus muhammad and jehovah won't be there will you be there are you guaranteeing your life today are you guaranteeing by your existence and your living that you will be able to escape the dome and join the stars the choice is all yours thanks for subscribing and watching for more information on becoming a star send us an email on joinatmarfado.com subscribe to our channel kamiti buru ethics this picture by lm dumizulu saying till we meet again be a star tatenda siabonga edupe hengos this is a rabbi nmtv's law committee hebrew ethics marifado